I'm sharing a way to take your e-drum hi-hats from this to this using any drum plugin you like. Plus, there's another big tip for e-drummers playing with drum plugins afterwards, so please keep watching. Here we go. So you're playing your electronic drums, maybe you're playing through a plugin, or maybe you're playing through a bunch of plugins if you're obsessive like I am, and you discovered on one of them that your hi-hat is not working right. You've got maybe a closed sound and a fully open sound, but you're not getting all of those in-between sounds, even though the drum library has those sounds available. You don't have to drown your sorrows like this guy did. Just use a DAW. And by the way, the example drum library for this video is the excellent and free Spitfire Labs Vintage Drums, which is a really nice dry analog drum sample collection. But it's not made for e-drums. So we'll make use of the power of our DAW to play this. In this case, our DAW is Reaper. And just in case you're new to some of these things, a DAW is a digital audio workstation. It's just a software program where you can record, edit, playback, multiple tracks of audio, MIDI data, and so on. Now, other DAWs have their strengths as well. Ableton Live, for example, offers a way of doing something very similar to this. And Cubase may have something as well, I'm not sure. But back to our hi-hat issue. The problem here is that some plugins, such as Spitfire Labs Vintage Drums, are made for MIDI programmers, and maybe even keyboard drummers too, not for e-drummers like us. So I found and modified a plugin I saw on the Reaper forums by a user named Jeffos, this is a relatively simple Reaper plugin that is always tracking where your hi-hat pedal is, whether it's fully closed or fully open, a third open, and so on. And when we hit the hi-hat pad, the plugin looks at where the pedal is and now puts the correct MIDI note and the plugin plays the correct sound. Basically, we're bypassing any need for the plugin to decipher the pedal data or to be e-drum friendly, quote unquote. Here is the plugin interface. I know it's ugly and looks daunting, but once you get it, it makes sense. And what the hey, it's free, right? You can configure it once for each plugin. You can save the preset and then never have to do that again. So that's pretty cool. And for those who download the plugin script, I'm going to include a URL to an unlisted video where I guide you through how to install it, how to use it. So I won't go into every detail here, but to overview, this plugin offers levels for fully closed, fully open, and then four levels of in-between openness for your hi-hat. And if you don't have or want Reaper, there is an application that runs outside of a DAW called eDrum MIDI Mapper. It runs standalone and will require a virtual MIDI port program to run as well, like Loop MIDI. These are also free. I didn't have to go this route, but I have read on forums that others have, and it may be worthwhile for you to explore their capabilities. So anyway, back to Spitfire Labs Vintage Drums. Let's take a listen to this great sounding free sample pack and we're going to play it with the help of the Reaper hi-hat script. Okay, so now that we've got our hi-hats worked out, Vintage Drums presented a new challenge. There was no MIDI learn feature on that plugin, so I had no way to change which pad played each sound. That led me to the second tip I have, which is similar to eDrum Mini Mapper, but this one is called simply Note Mapper, another free program. This is different from eDrum Mini Mapper because Note Mapper is simply a VST2 plugin, so it runs in your DAW and requires no outside applications to function. Make sure the Note Mapper VST is before the drum library and the plugin list. This ensures the Note Mapper plugin gets your kit's MIDI data first. Most modules send MIDI data out on MIDI Channel 10 for drums, so you'll probably want to go to Channel 10 in Note Mapper. If the main list of notes is empty, you need to fill that list in by going to the three lines icon, then click Templates, then click Default. This just fills in the list with standard MIDI notes so that you can then change the notes you'd like to change. So here I'm scrolling down the list until I see it showing me hitting my kick drum, which is MIDI note C1, 
which is also called MIDI Note 36. To change the output note, click the note in this column, hold the mouse button down, and drag it up or down. In this case, I changed my kick drum to output MIDI Note 37 or C Sharp 1. And of course, you can save the preset how you like. Spitfire's Vintage Drums is one of many free drum plugins out there, and if you're looking for some free drum samples, check this playlist out for more free drum reviews.